everybody, I have another speed painting video here. I'm just going to kind of talk through it and maybe point things out as I come along and uh, things occur to me. So uh, I'll go ahead and start off here. Started off with just a, a black and white uh, kind of pen sketch on the Photoshop and found something I liked and then I decided to go ahead and go with it. And I used a color layer to lay down basic colors before I even started to mess with too much with value or anything, just trying to get a feel for colors. And I actually spent quite a long time on this, because um, I'm, I'm still learning color quite a bit. I learned to keep it uh, zoomed out real far like this until you get a good feel for your, your basic colors that you want to use. And I think after I picked this blue for the dress, I was pretty satisfied with what I had here. And you can see the sketch is a real loose sketch. It was just almost scribbles. I think it's hard sometimes to fight the temptation to zoom in and, and work closely um, on an image. I've also learned from numerous videos to um, keep my resolution at like 300 even from the very start, because it'll help all your brush strokes kind of get a more natural feel to it. And I didn't use any references, and I kind of just went from the hip on this. So uh, there are tons of proportion mistakes and whatnot, and uh, some of this I've edited out just for the sake of time, where I've you know spent 15, 20 minutes working on the legs or um, or the head or something like that. Just adding some highlights here to the top of the dress, trying to figure out where the light's coming from in, the, in that top left area. Still picking my colors a little bit as I go through. One of the dangers I've noticed of using a, a medium opacity brush and picking colors is that you tend to get lower saturation, like I'll pause it right here, and you can see right here that my saturation is pretty low, so I gotta remember to keep pushing that up to at least the, the medium range if it starts to look like it's getting too muddy in through here. The hue, saturation, and brightness. <laughs> Again, with uh, keeping it zoomed out and just doing big shapes, it's, a, it's another temptation that's hard to resist to go in and do all the line work and the details. And I, I still haven't figured out what works best for me to do a detailed line drawing and then do grayscale and add color, or to kind of start like this and uh, stay loose and do the color early on. Sometimes I like the results of this a little bit better. This approach. I also like the feel of uh, keeping all my layers together. I, I don't think I go above two or three layers at any time in this, and if, if I do, I, I squeeze them back down pretty quickly. I'm starting to go in and pick some highlight colors for the kind of edges of the dress and do some detail work on the dress here. Again, I really had no clue or plan what to do. I was kind of making it up as I went along. And here I was trying to decide if I should put another arm in or how the arm would look. So I, I tried a few different shapes until I found one that I thought worked okay. And then used the lasso tool to kind of select it out and start pulling value from the other arm. Again, really, you can see it's still pretty blurry, just avoiding any 
any urge to go in and do detail work. And that's another nice thing about doing it in such a high resolution. Uh, you have a big image and when you're working on it, it seems real blurry and everything, but your final images can be reduced. So it actually looks like you, it hints at detailed work. And your mind will kind of fill in all the rest of the details. Trying to keep the the light underneath her dark, like that dark pinkish purple, and the light above her, the lighter pinkish purple. Again, messing with the hand, trying to figure out how the hand's supposed to be, and then the hair here. And most of this is all just on a normal layer. Um, a lot of times I'll duplicate the main layer and make adjustments, and if I like it, I'll, I'll push it back down. Or I'll duplicate the, the main layer and blur it all, and then erase out the parts that I want to be a little bit more crisp to kind of create those focus areas. And I think I'm doing that here. That'll help with the look of it falling as well. Keep toying with this bottom area, and, and this was a scene from a D and D game I played, but uh, it didn't really go anywhere. So I just kept focusing on the. She's actually a witch. Who is about who is dying basically. And it's all about the light, just trying to get the light right. Where's the light coming from? What's in shadow? What's in light? And then, of course, proportions. And I realize I have a long way to do as far as, uh, way to go as far as technique and ability, but I, I learned a lot from the YouTube videos that I've seen from other artists, so uh, just trying to give back a little bit. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I had my wife come in and take a look at it and she said, well, your legs look really off and your arms look a little bit off. So it always helps to have another set of eyes come in or at the very least flip the canvas a few times or step away from it for a few minutes and come back. A lot of times I'll go to uh, different artist forums that I belong to and people have great comments there as well as far as making changes. And here again, I'm adding some blur and then erasing out the parts that I want to keep crisp. I think I'm just adding in some minor details here towards the end. I add a, this is a color dodge layer, so I, I do the eyes. Um, I think I add some bracelets and a ring, but you can barely see that in the end product. Just hinting at those things. Adds a little bit of life to it. Still wasn't happy with the dress, how it looks, but live and learn. And here I'm just uh, I'm adding some saturation on a gray layer. Um, I'm sorry, it's a multiply layer, and I'm just adding some shadow. And again, erasing out parts that I want to keep clean, and then lowering the opacity on the layer. And while finished, I'll go through some adjust adjustment layers. Um, and then after I'm done with the adjustment layers and I like the color and everything, I add a, uh, a layer that's completely black and make it saturation and then lower the opacity just to kind of uh, give the picture a little bit more balance. And that's it. So, uh, thanks for watching.